What's going on YouTube? Modeling that back at you. Kind of a special day here. So I finally got in uh, from Woody's Model Works a bunch of detail sets for the Titanic. So just wanted to kind of shout out um, as, uh, again, went through, listed out each of the items that I've purchased and stuff like that. Made sure, ticked each one, making sure that they were good. Again, just to make sure that they were there. So let's uh, do a quick unboxing and we'll see what we have here and what it looks like. So I have to admit, very well packaged. The Grand Staircase, I went ahead and already taken a look at. Um, he actually packaged into this nice little box with cut foam that fits the staircases perfectly. So super nice and well packaged for sure so i'm going to keep them in that also got the uh, beds and the uh, stuff like that for the officers deck so we went ahead and threw that in as well as the resin parts for the bathtubs so yeah so let's go ahead and kind of go around here and we'll see how everything was packaged the one thing uh was definitely impressed with is the fact that it does have a nice piece of like MDF or um, something on the, uh, to that effect here on the end just to keep it from getting bent so we'll make sure kind of what all we've got and how everything looks so all right so kind of got to be extra careful here this top is actually its own sealed item which is the underhaul plating. So if you've looked at the 1200 scale Titanic uh, from Trumpeter, you'll notice that it does not have any uh, lower hull detailing. So we'll kind of go through this package in a moment. Carefully trying to do this without slicing either me or that. So I'll be careful not to get let that get bent. I'm gonna lay that off to the side. And then we have the photo etch sheets, <laughs> varying photo etch sheets here. So, again, everything was is well packaged in, not going to move, not going to slide, but does take some extra care when opening, so you don't damage it. There we go. Now we got one up. It should be a little easier. Just lightly slide it up so you can get a blade under it. Once I'm actually done filming this and looking them over, these are going straight into my box with my ship, just to prevent them from getting damaged any further, probably packaging them into one of the sub boxes. Again, if you have the kit or if you've seen an unboxing, you'll know what I'm talking about, as there's a lot of boxes in that big box that you get. All right, there we go. I think that's all of them, so let's go ahead and pull off this top sheet. Put this over. This the only problem with how it was packaged is the tape is super strong, but to open it and to get it out is a bit of a pickle without bending the actual photo etch, which is obviously a concern. Side so I can just do that. Plastic tape. Right, I'm going to try to just slide these out the end if I can. Right, so, sheet one here that I happen to get is sheet E. And this is really heavy duty gauge brass, which is nice. It's not super skinny, it's not super tiny. So, we've got gymnasium walls here, uh, the veranda and palm court, Cafe Parisien, and then also private promenades, 
the DDAC entry doors, which is kind of sad unless you open up the side hull. You wouldn't actually see those. I guess you could see them through some of the lights or some of the uh, holes in the windows and stuff like that. But that's really, really super nice on that. Right, moving on to the next fret here. I think that's how I'm going to do this. I'm just going to come in from the end, tear it open, and then slide it out. So this one is going to be sheet F. And again, you can check out their uh, YouTube page if you want to see kind of how it looks built up. But this is the interior ceiling, interior parts here, so... A little warpage, but again, that's to be expected with brass when when it's uh, photo etched like this. Love the railings here for the main staircase. Please excuse the puppy. <laughs> I got somebody out the door. Out the window, I should say. Fireplaces. First class lounge up here at the top. Right, next part here. This one is definitely a lot thinner brass, so again, you kind of got to be careful to what you're getting out. This one looks like a piece of tape. Hold on, seek. Gotta be cautious of that. Like I said, this one, super thin brass. This one is the officer's quarter, so this is the doors, windows, lights, as you can see there. So some of these items, like the portholes, the actual windows, those come in other detail sets. So I'm going to kind of review, look to see which ones uh, look the best. I'll go from there as to which one that I'm going to use when I actually go to build this. And back to the heavy brass sheets here. This is the Boke Deck Officer's Quarter. Let me get that out of the way. <clears throat> Alright, so some of the big parts with this is the fact that you get the, uh, uh, you do get the uh, external walls and stuff like that, just to kind of dress them up a little bit nicer, a little bit more accurate, but you also get the bed, the furniture, chairs, um, pretty much everything to fill the room again bathtubs <laughs> so uh, I'll be able to do that and then the other nice thing is you also get the interior spaces as well so um, looking in the windows they'll actually have items in it so which again is the whole purpose of this is to kind of make the ship look more natural because originally I wasn't going to do this I was going to build it just eventually as an exterior model However, after seeing how big the windows actually are in 1 to 200 scale, you really, really do need to look at getting interior spaces. Otherwise, it just looks like, it just looks so empty. Um, and looking across, uh, like the boat deck and stuff like that, unless you put a view block in there, it's just not going to look right. So this one is uh, the I-deck beams. So this is for B-deck. So on the upper part of the... Uh, uh, sorry, promenade, you would have had uh, basically these beams that you know supported the actual boat deck and stuff like that. Uh, again, they're really just not there on the trumpeter kit, so it's awesome that he actually put this together, got this out, so let me see. I like the fact that he called out as well which end is the bow end, so you know, again, trying to prevent people from accidentally doing anything backwards. <clears throat> see, moving on to the next one here. Just rip around the tape. There we go. Right, so this is one of the additional detail for the forward depth. 
uh, forward detail set. So this is uh, for the front of B deck, the interior uh, walls, which would have had you know, the, the bolt details and things like that, um, as well as uh, the upper part here, which is going all the way into A deck as well. We do also have an updated uh, front bridge, as well as the bridge wings. Those are updated in this as well, adding in some additional wood paneling where it would have been on the real ship. And again, super nice. You have the actual steps for the bridge wings, as well as the railings there. Little tiny bit of damage here. We'll call that out. Little tiny bit of damage that happened in transit, but I don't think either in transit or in packaging. So this is why you just got to be careful. Keep an eye on things where everything is. So I'll carefully try to straighten this piece out. Just get it back flush. Yeah, you got to be sharp, careful because the edges are actually pretty sharp on this one. The effect of it. Yeah. Not sure if a little piece broke or what had happened there, but we are. Looks like it might be a bit of a loss on that one, so I'll have to just be extra careful. I'm getting this put into the box. I'll have to look at what that is to see how much I'm actually missing with that that part being gone. Again, no fault on the manufacturer whatsoever, I don't think. It's just things happen in shipping, things happen in packaging, you know, that's outside of his control. So again, this is just the first time I'm seeing the uh, the sheets, so Call it out as I'm going. Alright, so this one, first class internals. So you have the restaurant, you have grand staircase, all of the wood paneling there at the top for that, and around the gymnasium walls, uh, the inside walls uh, for the exterior portion of it. Looks like from these here, these are going to be uh, that part that was damaged was handrails. So I'm pretty confident that I'm going to have that in another set somewhere. So it should be fine there. So you can kind of look around and see. Again, these aren't tiny sheets. I mean, these are massive Massive sheets of brass. Sorry, I had to stop my video again just to reset the timer. So, um, yeah, what I was saying was, um, you know, again, it looks like a lot, and it is a lot of money, but at the same time, what you're getting is really awesome. So, uh, again, superstructure and bridge plating. So this is going to be the actual plating. They overlap lightly. Um, again, the instructions that he has uh, on the website will actually show kind of how that is. I'll probably go ahead and try to get a copy of that downloaded or something so I don't lose it if uh, his site ever should go down. But we have the whole plating there. And now uh, getting into the larger sheets here. Again, these are to replace out some of the parts. So this is the main superstructure. One of the big changes in the superstructure is they actually had the lines that went down. Uh, you can catch it there more here in the dark areas. Um, they had a line that went down the entire length of the ship. Uh, most of the time it was on the inside, but then once it opened into the open air, it became visible. That was not modeled on the original uh, trumpeter kit, so it's nice that he has that. So, yeah. Laying that off to the side. Alright. Into the last couple here. Yeah, 
next one's going to be a fun one, I think. Alright, so... This one is one more bit of the uh, ADEC beams. So again, like we talked about with the BDEC. We have here with the uh, I-beams for ADEC. Again, just to add that extra little bit of detail on the upper surfaces of the promenade. And I think I might have mentioned that, or I might have said in the last part, or when I was talking about B deck, that it would hold up the boat deck. Correction, that it would hold up A deck. This was what was holding up uh, the boat deck. So, just any rivet counters before you get to typing on the keyboard there. The keyboard warriors. So. Alright, there's that. And the last one. This one is all of the internal seating. So this is the chairs for Cafe Fruitian. This is the restaurant, gymnasium, all of the chairs, ta or chairs, tables, and other accoutrements that would have fit the space. Get that down and in the trash. Let me kind of look through this one. So this one, again, you got the aft grand staircase, reading and writing room, first class lounge, the veranda and palm courts down here. You have the second class smoking room, uh, private promenades, as well as uh, Cafe Parisien, and then the a la carte restaurant. And then up here at the top, you have the gymnasium. So you have the things for different items like the mechanical bowl, rowing machines, all of that. So, again, take a little while to get everything put in, um, and especially if you'd want to try to coat them into some sort of um, either printed material or something that would show the actual, kind of, for lack of a better phrase, the actual uh, fabric. Um, that's what I was trying to say there. Uh, it would definitely take some time or just kind of get the general colors. That would also probably suffice, again, given that it's an internal space. But, yeah, so that is the uh, kind of the review of the items that I've purchased from Woody's Model Works. Um, again, they have multiple other items that I've not purchased. Actually, one last item here. Um, I'll reset and show the last item, which is... Uh, the underhaul detail, don't want to miss that out, but, so let me go ahead and actually do that real quick, and I will be right back with you. Alright, so, taking a look here, get this packaged opened up, take a look at those underhaul pleatings. This is not the only way to do it, so let me, I'm going to do this off camera just for angle purposes. Trying to make sure I don't actually put the parts. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we've got the envelope opened up here, so let's go ahead and slide these out. And I believe these are actual styrene sheets, which. So that is kind of the directions for where things go, and yeah, these are super thin, I think the styrene sheet has then been etched, um, etched with each of the panels, so it, and it's actually numbered here, so you have your different sheets that say, like, simply planned, so it actually walks you through each of the parts and again they're numbered as well so as you're going uh, you can actually put them in oh, sorry about that lock that in a bit better so we'll do that again actually assemble them in order so again you'll have to start here at one then overlap a little bit with two three four on down so just keep track of the numbers 
and as you're going, it will work out to be the whole plating for the entire underside of the ship, which again, when I seen the ship for the first time, it actually was something that kind of disheartened me that they didn't have, like for the amount of money, the amount of tooling that I know that they did put into it, the fact that they left off the entire under hull plates just kind of bugged me when I seen that. So, um, and again, noting, again, you're starting at the back, working forward, because again, the flow of water would be this direction. So it just is nice that they actually show you show you that and again port and starboard so you can line it up and again this kind of gives you an idea i mean this is about to scale in fact i think it is to scale uh, to what the actual hull plates are so we're pretty darn close to scale so again you take this drawing and line it out by five that's how many that's how big this ship is and this is roughly about an 18 inch sheet of paper I'd say 14 inches something like that so and standard meter stick or yard stick or not yard but not meter but um, yeah a one foot ruler there so so yeah, about 14, 15 inches, something like that. So this is absolutely a massive ship. So definitely looking forward to the build. Um, again, you know, a little bit of damage that had happened at one point on one of the sheets. But again, that can happen at any point with any manufacturer. Uh, definitely, I don't see it as a negative against Woody's. Like, again, the product that they put out is uh, really a niche item. And I absolutely love the fact that they did actually get this stuff out because... It was definitely a need for sure. And so, yeah. If you have any questions, comments, definitely post them down below. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.